Mastering the first conditional. Avoid the will misuse in if clauses. Hello, English learners. Today, we're diving deeper into the first conditional structure. Our special focus for this video is on a common mistake students often make, the misuse of will in the if clause of a first conditional sentence. By the end of this video, you'll be able to construct these sentences flawlessly. Let's get started. Remember, the first conditional is a structure we use to talk about real and possible situations in the future. It often has two parts, the if clause and the main clause. The if clause sets the condition, while the main clause tells us the result. Structure, if clause plus main clause. If clause, if plus subject plus presents simple verb. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb, base form. Here's an example. If it rains, we will stay at home. One common mistake when using the first conditional is the misuse of will in the if clause. Many students are tempted to put will in the if clause, which is incorrect. Remember, will should only be used in the main clause. Incorrect. If it will rain, we will stay at home. Correct, if it rains, we will stay at home. Let's practice with a few more sentences. Can you spot the mistakes? One, if she will not come, we will cancel the party. Two, if I will pass the exam, I will celebrate. And here are the corrections. One, if she does not come, we will cancel the party. Two, if I pass the exam, I will celebrate. Notice the absence of will in the if clauses. Use the present simple tense in the if clause and remember to use will in the main clause only. Read your sentence aloud. If there's a will in your if clause, it's likely you've made a mistake. Correct. If it rains, present simple. We will go, will plus base verb, to the cinema. Incorrect. If it will rain, we will go to the cinema. And that's it for today, folks. We hope this video helps you avoid the common mistake of using will in the if clause when dealing with first conditional sentences. Remember, keep practicing and reviewing. Mistakes are part of the learning process, so don't be discouraged. Until next time, happy learning!